benchmark time. Hopefully uh, you guys can hear me. Um, so we have to jump over to another computer using a capture card today. We'll go through the benchmarks. I hope that this is a much better uh, version of the benchmarks than what we did the other day. Let's get it started here with XTU. And we'll stay inside here. So we are doing just uh, default power limits. We should hit uh, power limit throttling in some of these examples. Doesn't look like we did here. You see the score there. Highest temperature, 88. Um, now I think I'll go through these and then we'll come back and we'll we'll just put power limits all the way to the top. That will get rid of power limit throttling, but might add thermal limit throttling as a problem. All right, so I'm going to kill XTU for now, and we will uh, we'll use Hardware Info 64. Um, let's go ahead and get a R20 score. And you can see yesterday, 12274 is what we hit. So um, let's go ahead and reset this. Right there. So everything's reset. And we'll concentrate on basically the CPU info. Uh, is that the right one? It's the same. That's one we want, folks. Okay. Uh, CPU power, temperature. Yeah, this is what we want. All right, so I'm going to hit run. I'll bring this back up. This should go pretty quick. We'll follow this up with R23. Um, I don't think I have, I don't have 2024 on here. I don't think we're going to do 2024. I don't. I think it has some bugs. Last time I used it. And boom. Look at that. Big jump. Um, what would explain that, folks? No idea. Right? I'm not real sure <laughs> why it uh, went up over a thousand. Yeah, over 1,100, or just about 1,100, sorry. Uh, over 1,000. So, yeah, huge improvement. Jumped over the Xeon. Makes you wonder if we had the i9-14900KF, uh, what we'd be capable of. So I'm not going to do single. That takes too long. I get bored with it. <coughs> um, see my other video if you want to see what that score was. All right, we're just going to do multi-core. Reset this. Let's check our temps, though, before we do. So this is the Noctua... Uh, oh, which one is it? NHD14, I think. 140 millimeter and 120 millimeter fan. Oh, this way, excuse me, dual towers. Um, you can see it's doing pretty good, cooling wise. You know, at this and for gaming, but these benchmarks are brutal. All right, so we reset it, and we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, start. Bring this back up. Now I had you. I was using RTX 4070, and we had to change it out for freaking uh, 3060 because the 3060 has dual HDMI. This capture card, I can't get away with uh, DisplayPort in a uh, adapter. 
At least the adapters I have don't seem to work with it. All right, wow, big score jump. So that completely blows the uh, 13700K out of the water, folks. Oh my God. Wow. Now, you know, with the i9 13900KF, we were uh, over 40 with that. Um, so this is a good CPU between the two I mean that's a 25% jump oh my god all right now we're gonna go back to XTU and we won't use hardware and post 64 but uh, advanced tuning. I actually at some point want to use the built-in um, what is that thing? Somewhere I thought there was a built-in overclocker. Alright, so I was wrong, folks. Um, it actually changed on us. PL2. It went ahead and went to unlimited. So it didn't save my changes yesterday. <laughs> um, let's boost that one. Go through and do these one more time. What the hell. Now I don't have any of this stuff memorized. So for those watching... You'll have to remember what the scores were. But if we were to break 12,000 here, then it would be an improvement, if I remember correctly. And 85 degrees Celsius, 260 watts. So that really wasn't, uh, this is about the same, same score. Oh, duh. There's a save button. Okay. So this should actually help when we go over to Cinebench, folks. And let's bring 20 up. See our, our best score there. Will we be able to get there again? question all right so I'm gonna hit run bring this back up should be getting pretty damn close to 100 degrees Celsius the basement's just not as cool as it's gonna be in a couple months but um, all right 93 maybe we won't uh, all right, no uh, thermal. So there we did a really damn good job this time of thermal paste and, and tightening it down. Or this is the better of the Noctua coolers that I have. So you see a, a slightly better score there. That's good. 13,349. Uh, hopefully I'll remember this because I, I got my chart. I've got a log all this stuff for the best scores I think we'll probably get um, we'll get there with R23 as well so you can tell the temps have dropped down pretty fast already um, let's take one more look yeah we're already pretty much good to go so we'll go ahead and open this and Fire it off. Bring this up. And this probably is going to get up there temperature wise. I'm expecting to get to 96. Let's see. Doesn't get any hotter. Oh, there you go, folks. Boom. 
But uh, that may have been a new high score. Yeah, I think that was. Or was it? We'll have to go back and look at the tape. But um, wow. So there you go. There's uh, the benchmarks. Uh, one day I'll do a separate one for 2024. Uh, I'm not sure where the file is. I don't feel like downloading it. But uh, that's, uh, yeah, not bad. Makes me wonder if I would have bought the i9, what, what it would have been capable of. All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.